Warning, if the video, title, and description went over your head, let me be really clear on what you're about to watch. This is a backyard hunting video, which helps keep the population of pests under control. The bonus, some of these guys actually taste pretty dang good. If hunting and pest control offend you, don't watch, simple. So with that behind us, let's get on with the video. Eeny, meeny, miny, uh, that. I know I got that one, but I'm just making sure. Thick bushes. Might lay one. Oh, there's a chair in there. I forgot about that. My neighbor's got a. <laughs> that's what it was hitting. <laughs> She's got a chair in there. Drilled that first one. I think I hit that guy. That was a huge rat, though. Hit that one a couple of times. Jeez, freaking everywhere. Before we dive in, I thought I'd give you all a little update on the Leshy 2. Production, as you can see here, is in full swing. I'm glad Russia deemed the manufacturing of the greatest air gun of all time essential under their own stay at home rules. I cannot wait to get my hands on this thing. Seriously, a semi-auto dirty 30 leshy versus some hogs, squirrels, iguanas, rats. Dude, I have some amazing trips planned with this little air gun once the world kind of settles down here. But until then, I'll be nursing my air gun blue balls just like everybody else. Speaking of which, well, not speaking of your own blue balls, but rather when you can get your hands on one of these guys. The pre-order system for Mega and West is going live really soon, so to ensure you're part of the initial group to be notified of when that system is live and you can actually go in and buy it, make sure to get signed up for the notifications over at Egg Gun West with the link I'm showing here. I get asked all the time where to buy these guys, so here you go. Uh, he ships worldwide too, so no stress there. I'll throw a link in the description as well. Alright, let's get back to the rats. Watching this rat. Watching a dead rat. Shoot. <laughs> it's right in the middle of my neighbor's driveway. I'll have to go get that one. <laughs> Normally I leave the rats for the possums, but uh, that'd be kind of a dick move. Eeny, meeny, miny, uh, like that. I know I got that one, but I'm just making sure. Thick bushes. Might lay one. Oh, there's a chair in there. I forgot about that. My neighbor's got a. That's what it was hitting. 
Just get a chair in there. Drilled that first one. I think I hit that guy. That was a huge rat though. Hit that one a couple of times. Jeez. Freaking everywhere. I think this is another one. Yep. It's hard to tell, but that's some old, I call them old lady bushes. <laughs> but those things are thick. So the thermal's not doing it justice. Those shots that I had on the second one, a lot of those were through some thick stuff. So you can actually, I mean, you could see the pellet track right into it, but I may have been hitting some foliage. I think that was it. Quick little sweep of the courtyard. Not a oh. checking the hot spots. Alright. Off to bed. Apparently there was a rat gangbang, as I'm getting these guys almost every night. Uh, these rocks are their little kind of play area. So let's watch uh, a little thermal tracer here. Uh, as it drills this guy. They fall right into the center of these rocks where the possums will come once I go to sleep uh, and they just feast in there. Inside of this rock is just like a, it's like a rat cemetery. There's so many little bones and stuff in there, it's gross. Crap, I just saw a, I just saw a rat go under our deck. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and wait for it. I'm 90% positive I saw one. There he was. Oh, that was his head. Oh man. I broke that dude in two on JSB Hades. About 20 foot pounds on a rat at nine yards. <laughs> so I was checking the security cameras. I got up in the middle of the night to take a piss and I was checking the security cameras and I saw the owl came back. And I was watching it and then just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, as I'm kind of panning in here, the thing just flew, like, right at the camera. I jumped, flew right at the camera like this. I mean, how cool is that? And then it landed just right above. I know everybody's going nuts being locked inside, but I'm trying to make the best of it with this stay-at-home business. Uh, with a little upgrade from Mad Gun Wes, I'm teaching my kids how to shoot. All right. You got the red dot right where you want it? All right, so let's go check out. This is 20 yards with a red dot. Oh, that is pretty good. Put a thumb there, see how small that target is. All right, stay tuned, guys. Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep the content coming, and we'll see you on the next one.
Backyard hunting helps keep the population of potential pest animals under control. The bonus? Some of these guys taste pretty dang good. So here's one of my all-time favorite squirrel recipes. Press pause to get the full details. 